Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is uh, my first video with Creators Update. Yep, this is my main machine, which uh, I use to do the live shows. It was on the um, anniversary update, and of course, uh, I decided to do the manual update today. So how did it go and how long did it take? Okay, remember one thing. This is a Core i5 machine that's about five years old. It is uh, a magnetic hard drive, so it's a good old hard drive. So it makes it slower than any machine today with SSDs. Total, from the moment I download the media creation tool, and that I clicked the, uh, you know, I waited for the download and everything, and that it asked me, now it's time to install. I clicked, and I let it do its upgrade and everything. It took approximately an hour and 20 minutes. So it, uh, you know, set aside all the stuff I have. It, um, you know, worked great, basically. I did have kind of a little ouch moment because what happened is I um, was watching, of course I watched the screen the whole time that it was doing the uh, update. So while I was doing something else, I had always a little look on the screen. Um, around 30% I did have uh, the computer shut down and restart, which I thought was probably a normal thing un until I saw, oh, doing a check disk, there are some file problems. And I was like, hmm, Okay, so anyways, it did a check disk, it did scan, it was a very quick scan, like, um, you know, I don't know, maybe, uh, I'd say a 30 second scan, really, really quick, and then it said, okay, fix the problems, restarted, and then continued its install at 30%, so is it normal or not, I'm not sure, uh, did it just shut down unexpectedly where it should not, and it created a, a problem? Or did it shut down because it's, it did see a problem? That's the other thing that I was thinking is, oh, maybe there was a corrupt file on my hard drive. While installing, they said, oh, there's something wrong, and they fixed it before continuing. And that's a possibility also. So it might not be at all a glitch in the install. It might actually be that the install fixed something that it did see as a problem. Install went well if you, you know, think that that's what happened went all the way through it uh, brought me to a little screen where I would had a few switches for privacy and everything and then I just click next it you know flawless and it asked me for nothing really nothing basically uh, anybody that you know uses that creation media creation tool and uh, is scared of I don't know what I'm gonna do you got nothing to do there's really nothing to do I tell you it's um, you know installs it asks you you want to keep these settings like this if you don't know what you're doing you just click next and you're there and it didn't do anything else uh, everything works you know if I look at uh, here right click and go to the device manager uh, right here to see if the drivers if everything is all right um, you know, it seems like everything went okay on this um, on this uh, setup. I have no issues at all. So let's wait for the device manager. Here you see, everything seems to be good. There's no, you know, yellow triangles or question marks or anything. Uh, when I got, you know, to the screen, well, it brought me to this Welcome to Windows Creators Update screen, basically. Uh, it downloaded updates, uh, maybe not all of them, because when I look at the Windows version, it actually told me I was on, I think we're at .14 right now, and it says 15063.13, which means that I have probably one update missing. And let's just check it out here if it's going to propose that update to me here. So all settings. So they've added, you know, all sorts of new things. If I check update and security here, so we see that it's the new, uh, the new, um, you know, panel, the new settings panel. So basically, um, wow, really, really good install. And you know, to be honest, every time I updated this machine to a new update. So when I got from the original Windows 10 
to the November update. I had an issue. Wi-Fi driver was missing. Something was wrong. When I got from November update to anniversary update, I had an issue. Uh, once again, I believe the Wi-Fi driver was also an issue. And then I had to, you know, fix that to have it working correctly. But you know what? This one worked perfectly. And I think it's the first time it, a update worked perfectly on my main Toshiba computer. So I gotta say, this is pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I gotta say that um, it, it seems to work well. Of course, I'll report another video in a few days to um, you know kind of tell you how uh, the, the, the works because you know I've been using it now for only about 20 minutes so basically I, I don't really have a feel of you know did it work well um, it doesn't seem sluggish it doesn't seem um, a problem or of, of anything uh, everything that I ask for everything that I do is there um, every setting every program that I actually installed it didn't take anything away um, so you know what we're gonna take that uh, and check that out I'll put the antivirus here so we can see it and uh, I think it's pretty cool so uh, of course creators update stuff uh, my Google page is here there's Microsoft Edge tips for what's new and we see all the new stuff here so uh, really nice and uh, you know what there's a lot of tips here that are interesting uh, I'll be checking that uh, you know th those tips to see what they are proposing to me but I gotta say I am impressed with creators update uh, in its update and if you are one of those that tell me you're scared of the creators update I gotta say one thing uh, this update I think will be one of the best ever that Microsoft ever did um, how, how, how I just see it here going with my computer so uh yep i'm on creators update everywhere except one there's one computer that is still on uh, anniversary update that one i'll let it go to the uh update itself you know when it, they decide to update it for a very sim simple reason uh, i'm curious to see how long it will take it's a, a six-year-old dell computer and i'm just curious to see how long it's going to take before the update shows up through windows update uh, and it's in uniquely for that because I'd updated, uh, I would update it right now if it wasn't for that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, creators update is now my main machine. So creators update uh, works fine with the media creation tool if you click the update. And um, like I told you, first time ever, I don't have any glitches. I can tell you, I'm um, very, very uh, surprised at how it goes. And uh, no definition update, so it seems that uh, maybe not everybody has the cumulative update for 14, it seems. So anyways, there will be more cumulative update, I can bet you, uh, before um, at least one more before we get the update on uh, April 11th. But uh, if you're scared, you know what, this, um, this seems to prove that they're working really hard to make this update as good as possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.